Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It could be that you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else, so the roles can definitely be reversed either way. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me for more specific information. And I will be focusing mostly on just your energy rather than doing looking at your energy and another person's energy, but their energy might still come through. And as I said, the roles can be reversed either way. So let's see, what's going on with Virgo? Okay, card went flying. All right, we have conclusions. All right, so this is a situation where conclusions are actually surrounding the energy, okay? Um, between you and another person, or even another situation, or for a particular aspect within this connection. All right, so let's get into the tarot and see what this is about. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid to end of July 2021. All right, so we'll be looking at the recent past, the current energies, as well as the near future. So for the recent past, we have the Magician, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Cups. So there was definitely something here that um, you were trying to manifest something that you felt was in line with your intuition, but I feel like whatever that was, it ended up just confusing you more or there were just a lot of options, there were a lot of different choices that you could make, and so you kind of felt like, like this just led to some kind of confusion, not knowing which way, which way to go. But it's interesting though, because I feel like you were following your intuition, but then something with that kind of confused you. So let's see. What is happening now? We have the Page of Wands, the Lovers, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. So I see what's happening here. It could be, we'll see more though when we clarify, but it feels like maybe, you know, you took a particular direction. You thought that you were making something manifest. Maybe it didn't really work out that way. Maybe it did kind of, kind of not. And so therefore you were confused. And now it's like, you're feeling like you, there's this connection that you really feel a lot of love for. And you're kind of feeling trapped in the situation, almost as if you can't get away from your own feelings about this. Let's see what is coming up. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, good. So I'm glad to see that. So a lot of Pentacles down here. So this is a lot of grounding energy, which is also um, earthy energy, which is your element. So I do see things actually feeling a little bit better coming up in the near future. There might still be this sense of feeling a little bit alone but not in the negative sense because you have this five of pentacles but it's between the ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles so whatever that is i feel like you are really finding your own sense of balance but also able to give your energy where you actually want that energy to go so i do see you feeling very very good even if at the moment, just for now, things are not what you had initially thought they would be. And I feel like that's actually the conclusion, the conclusion of feeling trapped in a particular situation or trapped within your own emotions. So let's, let's clarify and we'll see if your person shows up here and what is going on um, with them.
All right, so let's clarify that magician in the recent past. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you you were struggling to really manifest a connection into your life, all right? You were trying to manifest something stable. Um, I feel like you were actually taking steps. You were putting in a lot of energy towards bringing this commitment to fruition, trying to make things work, trying to find longevity or a sense of consistency within this connection, but it feels like that just kind of didn't really happen. Uh, maybe there was a lot of in and out, things um, were possibly moving towards being stable, but then all of a sudden they were not stable and things kept shifting. And I feel like this was actually something that really wore you out. This was something ongoing that just felt like like it just got very tiring for you and I feel like you know you weren't you weren't giving up for a while for a long time you weren't giving up let me clarify the high priestess the four of swords and the seven of wands Yeah, it's like, um, you know, you, your intuition was there, but I feel like you were kind of blocking it out. There was a point in time where you decided to follow your intuition, but I think that you may have been confused, like, what is it that is my intuition? What is it that is what I would want? Um, which might be opposing my, my intuition, or how to go about it might be contradictory to what my intuition is telling me. So it feels like there's an energy like that coming into play here in the recent past for you. And this is definitely something that may have thrown you off or it made you feel like you were thrown off course. And so it, it either made you a little bit defensive or I feel like you just kind of blocked out your intuition because it just didn't feel like it was going to actually lead you to where you wanted to go. But sometimes you know, our intuition can take us to where we, we want to go, but in ways that we wouldn't expect. All right, and I feel like that's why there was this confusion here with that Seven of Cups. So let me actually just get to what is going on in the current situation. Let's see this Page of Wands. So the first card went flying somewhere. I will grab it real quick. Just give me a sec. I actually have no idea where it went. So um, yeah, maybe there's a reason for that. I have no idea where it went. No, not getting that card. So. I will just find it later. Um, okay, so Page of Wands, we have the Strength card and the Eight of Swords showing up again. All right. I actually feel like this might be somebody else. Um, here, it might be your person who is actually... I feel like this is the person who may have not been so consistent, possibly for some of you. Um, possibly just feeling stuck in a particular dynamic, in a particular situation. And this is something that this person is really trying to get themselves out of, okay? So I kind of feel like it's a split 50-50 because for a lot of you, this is actually your energy, all right? Because you do have the Eight of Swords here as well. So, and for others of you, it could be that the both of you are in this energy. You're both sharing this energy, but in a different way. All right, for different things. So, for example, it could be that you are feeling trapped within your own emotions about this person or, or, or within this connection in some way, like you just can't get away from it. Whereas this person might be feeling trapped in their own um, 
headspace with fears about the connection or um, stuck in another situation, all right, or vice versa. Whatever the case, though, there we also have strength here. So I do see that somebody is building up the strength here to actually remove themselves from a situation that they have been stuck in for a while, okay? And I, we'll see. We'll see when we clarify the Eight of Swords if this is also um, true for you for this particular reading. But let me see the lovers first. Page of Cups, the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and I also have the Ace of Cups showing up here. Okay, so definitely this is, um, there's a lot of strong feelings here, a lot of strong feelings, and I do feel that this is actually from both sides. All right, so the person that you're dealing with definitely has a lot of strong emotions for you, but I feel like there's a distance between the two of you right now. There's this tendency to, I, I feel like it's you just wanting to really detach yourself from this connection. <clears throat> and here you are showing up as the hermit, right? So you're trying to just separate yourself, detach yourself from this. And I feel like that a part of it is because these feelings are so strong at the moment, but you're not feeling like this other person here is being consistent. And I feel like there's some dynamic here where this person is actually, it's like this person has this power over you to kind of keep you, keep you attached, keep you kind of feeling trapped within your emotions for them. And I feel like a big part of that is the fact that they are inconsistent because that can also get a little bit addictive. Um, and it can also create confusion, right? It can, it can be like mixed signals. Like you might be seeing this person, you know, for example, just showing you so much, expressing so much emotion, spending time with you, um, just really sweeping you off your feet and then, you know, possibly disappearing or then just acting strange. And then they come back with something warm and then, you know, that's, but that's not something you want to be involved in, right? And I feel like that's why you're trying to move away from this. At least for now. Let's move let's move on to the near future. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles. Alright, we have the Six of Wands and the Two of Swords. I feel like this person is coming back. I feel like this person is coming back trying to trying to give you this um, commitment or trying to give you this stability. And I feel like they're doing it in a very confident way. Um, but I actually see you not really trusting this process or not really agreeing to it, feeling like you know there might be something that this person is not telling you or that they might not be showing you the full truth of their intentions. And I don't feel like their intentions are actually negative, but I feel like the lesson in this for you is to really trust your intuition. Um, is to really trust your intuition when it comes to really standing strong as this hermit on your own and allowing yourself to detach from this situation regardless of how strong the love is at least for now because if this person is not ready well then they're not ready and you trying to manifest their readiness it just doesn't work that way and then that's why it creates this confusion and the, this would definitely be a lesson for them as well so I don't think I actually feel like you genuinely will not agree to them coming back in. Let me see the Five of Pentacles. All 
All right, we have the sun and we have the wheel of fortune. All right, okay, so interesting. So actually this five of pentacles, that, that's not even you. That's that's your person feeling, um, feeling a little bit rejected by you here. This is you rejecting the other person, all right? Because you want to be happy. You don't want to accept anything that, you know, if there's if there hasn't been a change, you want to make sure that there is change. You want proof of a change. And if you don't get that, I don't see you actually going back. If this person cannot be 100% transparent here and show you that there has definitely been a huge shift, a change in direction. And for that reason, you you're not you're not accepting this. So it's like, you know, you're finding that strength within you as well. And this is actually leading to some kind of a balance here. Almost like, you know, something that it's not it's not punishment, it's not revenge, but it's balance. All right, that kind of happens on its own. You cannot do this on purpose. You cannot purposely reject somebody and then, you know, there's all of a sudden balance. It doesn't work that way. Balance will only come when this actually comes naturally and you don't even think about it. But this is just, you know, how it, it looks like it's working out. Kind of like, you know, this person um, kind of, kind of like getting what they had given. So whatever energy they had put into this, into this um, connection. So like whatever you received from them, they're going to receive that now from you. It's going to have like that same effect. That effect, whatever you felt, whatever pain you felt, that's going to be mirrored back to them now. And they're going to be feeling that. And again, it's not revenge. It's not punishment. No, it's that this is how you genuinely feel. And you might even, you know, do this from a passion, from passion, compassionate place. You're not doing it from a vengeful place, okay? That is when things actually do come into balance and you will feel like there is this conclusion of the situation, not necessarily the connection, maybe, maybe not, but there will be a conclusion to this energy that just feels like it's not balanced, that something just isn't right. Although, of course, for a lot of you, it could be a conclusion. So let's see the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, that <laughs> just fell out by accident. So I will take the two that actually flew out. We have the Emperor and we have the Queen of Pentacles. See, so there you go. This is, this is you right here with this Queen of Pentacles. Really feeling good about yourself, feeling like you are balanced feeling like something has healed from within and really feeling like, you know, you are the ruler of your own life and of your own world and you are not trapped anywhere. No one is holding you hostage. You have, um, you're owning your emotions. You don't feel like you want to escape them and that you can't. No, you're owning them and you're actually feeling good about the place that you will have reached. This is a lot of success here. This is victory for you. So regardless of whether you end up coming together with this person or not, it actually appears to be a little bit irrelevant in this particular reading for, for this time period. It's all about you reaching this balance of, you know, being, being the emperor and the queen of pentacles. That's you standing strong in your element here. Feeling very abundant, having a great sense of self-worth about yourself and just feeling good. All right, Virgo, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. And I definitely feel like this is a message for you, like for your own self, to know that you are safe. You are safe. Your emotions are safe. You are safe being this hermit, which is also your element. You are safe moving away from a situation, even if you do have a lot of emotions for it, you will still be safe. All right? Or just take that message as it resonates. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.